I'm going to get back from Desert Storm, but if you hijack that thing in Desert Storm, I'm going to go home. Like 
sun shining, and I was strolling through the wheat fields waving, and the dust clouds rolling. As the fog was lifted, a voice was saying, This land was made for you and me. This land is your land, this land is my land, from California to the New York Island, from the Ridgewood Forest to the Gulf Stream Water. This land was made for you and me. Yeah, this land was made for you and me. Thank you. Of Carl Wesley Lee Fox, I said, here is a prototype of every brave service person. And when I read his citations for the Medal of Honor for his heroic service in Vietnam, I wept. Along with the Medal of Honor, Colonel Fox has earned the Bronze Star, Purple Heart, Meritorious Service Medal, Joint Commendation Medal, Navy Commendation Medal, and Combat Action Ribbon. Ladies and gentlemen, our Grand Marshal, Colonel Wesley Lee Fox, United States Marine Corps.
the Cold War is over. At least as I see it. But when you think about it, it went on for 30, 40 years, and all of those men and women out in our ranks that no longer wear the uniform served to that end. They did their job. They answered the call. And I think today is a proper recognition for all that have served in the uniform down through the ages. They have fought the big fight, and they've returned back into their normal jobs, back into civilian life. They walk quietly among us, but proudly. There are others that have not gotten out of the Veterans Administration hospitals from those different wars, Korea, Vietnam, and even the earlier Vietnam War. And I think probably many of us don't spend enough time or attention in, in their direction. But all of these great Americans serve in one way or another. In big uh, offices and uh, in, in politics, right down to the farmer, they continue to be Americans. Many of our best have paid the supreme price. They lie now under white crosses, still in military rows, or at sea, or their bodies lie in some foreign shore. They have paid the supreme price for this thing that we hold so dear to us, freedom. They have given us what we have today. As a people, we don't always express our appreciation. And I think that's been true in the last 20, 30 years. It's kind of similar to the love, the relationship of a family. Too often we don't express to our family members our care, concern, and love. And we accept that. And I guess as a nation and as servicemen, we can accept that same relationship from our fellow men. But in the past, we have allowed a minority to speak out for us. And that wasn't really all that good because as a nation, we, be, we started to think maybe we really don't care. We don't put any value on this thing, freedom, the rights of the individual. At least not enough to stand up and fight for it. But again, that was a minority. Today, the majority are speaking out. And the majority are turning out for the parade this morning and at this event at this time. So again, we appreciate, we remember, and we show that by our participation. And your effort today is a fitting example. Secretary Marsh mentioned another group, and I would surely...